Welcome to a video from thedigitallifes.com. In this video we're going to have a look at what's new in the October 2018 update for Windows 10. This is going to be the internal code name when you go into Windows of 1809 or internal number of 1809 and it was codenamed Redstone 5. I've been testing this build for some time uh, using the insider builds and I thought I'd just show some of my favourite new features in this build. So the first one is actually over in Windows Mixed Reality. Windows Mixed Reality has got some really good new features and um, I'm going to fire up Windows Mixed Reality and show you those but I'm really going to show you the Steam integration, the flashlight feature and the, the new menu. So let's uh, flip over to Windows Mixed Reality. And here I've got Steam VR apps. So like I said you need to have the Windows Insider preview build installed and you need to have the uh, beta version of SteamVR which I'll show you in a sec but here as you can see these are the apps so how do I get those apps on there very straightforward I just go through to my all apps list and there you can see it so there you can see Google Earth VR is from Steam select it like that and I can pin it up there so if I want to app launch one of these apps I just click on the tile and away I go so that's SteamVR installed and then if I press the Windows key, instead of it going straight back to the desktop, or back to the, the Windows Mixed Reality Cliff House, I now get the option of bringing up the menu, changing the volume, switching to the Steam VR dashboard, taking a photo, even opening flashlight, which is the camera. There's a camera that's using from the Mixed Reality headset. So that's it. Nice and simple. You've got the integration built in there. It's much better than it was before. Plus, with these builds, you've also got the flashlight or torch that I talked about. Some other things like this, the Explore apps, which pop up, uh, and it's great new features in Windows Mixed Reality. So those are the changes to Windows Mixed Reality in Redstone 5, or the October 8, 2018 update. Well worth having those, and the update is worth it. It's great for Windows Mixed Reality users. But what about if you're a PC user. Well, there's quite a lot of changes in there. Not massive changes, but some useful, subtle ones. So here in Microsoft Edge, we've got a new simplified menu uh, where it brings everything together. So you see, you've got this sort of tabbed uh, section for your settings, and uh, it just makes things easier to find. And there's some useful features in there as well. One of them is this media autoplay. So this allows uh, videos to play on websites, but you can control this using a limit uh, or you can block it completely. Here you can customize which icons are shown in the menu toolbar up here at the top. So if I always have the downloads button, I can have that there or I can choose say and don't use the um, add notes button. I can take that off. So over here in the PDF viewer, there's been some enhancements to the PDF reader as well. So, so over here is a PDF and there's been a lot of enhancements to the PDF reader as well. Just minor changes, so improve reading mode and uh, something else you can do is organise your sets as well. So as you put the sets away, you can now organise those sets which is something that you couldn't do before. You see here now I'm in File Explorer and I've got Dark Mode enabled and that's new in this build. Previously, even if you had the whole Windows theme set in Dark Mode, you would still get this uh, in white and that's no longer the case. I was surprised how many people really like this feature actually. I did say in one of the previous builds that I wasn't really that thought it was a big deal, but then loads of people gave me a lot of feedback saying, whoa, it is, it's definitely a big deal. Another change is the cloud clipboard. If you hit the Windows key and V, here you can see my clipboard and that is um, text that I've put in, just copied and pasted. Good thing is what I can do now is I can pick something else and put it in the clipboard. So there's two things in the clipboard now I can drop in so I don't have to, so one doesn't replace the other, they just um, so add to the list so it's a much easier way of working but if I flick to another machine so here's another machine with a 
cloud clipboard and it shares the clipboard together so that's a really good way of moving clips between devices if you have used the snipping tool you'll see you'll like this new modern version of the snipping tool the snip and sketch app you can do all the things you did before with a few other additions so you can snip now and you can use multiple spaces so if I go snip now so there's my toolbar so I can do a square and then I've got tools so I can do touch writing I can draw it on with different pens I've got a ruler I've got a, a crop tool uh, I can save it but I can also share it as well I can use a nearby share or I can use one of the apps in Windows to share it so it's um, it does the things that the other snipping tool does but it's got these extra features particularly, particularly around the sharing and I like that uh, the app I think it's uh, a good addition to to Windows another new app to Windows 10 is your phone and your phone is a companion app for your phone so you install that on your PC here you install the your phone companion app on your Android phone and here you can see pictures uh, that I've taken on my phone they synchronize almost immediately and I've got messages in there as well and I can send new messages from here as well so I can send text messages and receive text messages through this app which is um, a, a really nice app actually it, the, both um, the phone and the PC need to be on the same Wi-Fi for this to work which is why I'm getting that message because mine currently aren't so which is a bit of a limitation but it does cache them as well and um, yeah, it's a nice app and um, so in, in, uh, nice to have that ability to be able to send and receive text messages and get pictures easily off your phone. Another change to the on-screen keyboard is it now it uses SwiftKey. So SwiftKey is a company that Microsoft bought in uh, 2016. They make Android keyboards and they've introduced that into uh, into Windows. So you get your text and your, your suggestions and let me let me try and show you. And you can see it. Showing the words like that. So this is using Swift Key on D. So it makes it um, improved over the previous version for picking up keywords like that and just generally the predictive text, these ones that are coming up here, um, work much better in this version because under the hood it's using Swift Key. Now there are some other changes minor changes but uh, some of the UI has been improved some of the sort of the visual effects some of the other changes that um, they're in here you can create your own font notepad supports line feeds uh, there's lots of security updates under the hood you can rename start tile folders now so you can make folders if I drop these together make a folder I can name that now like that there's um, if you've got Bluetooth devices it shows you the battery status and settings there's focus assist for game mode uh, high high efficiency image support uh, included what's not included is sets in the um, some of the development builds was set. Sets is like a tabbed browsing, so you have a tabbed file explorer, you could have a, a word tab in there, you could have Microsoft Edge, you could have another sh you could have another notepad, all in one sort of set of tabs like you would in a browser tabs. That's not included. Hopefully that'll be back in the nineteen H one, which is the code name for the next version of Windows ten, which is nineteen two thousand nineteen H one half one. So it's going to be released first half of next year, and that's the next set of development from Windows 10. So that's not in this build. Question if you want to how to, how to get this update, or well, once it's been made available to the general Windows users, then it's just a question of going into Windows Update and uh, checking for updates. It'll come down eventually anyway, so you don't have to um, you don't have to rush to do it. But yeah, just hit download, and that'll bring it down. 
overall this is a, um, a really good update to Windows 10 there's not a massive amount of new features but it's been very stable in development builds well worth having if you're into mixed reality then definitely this is a really good improvement for you and uh, I, I really like this update so make sure you get it when it's available uh, thanks for watching this video you can go to YouTube channel and you can see all the development builds of Windows 10 and uh, if you go on our website thedigitallifes.com you can have a full write-up of this uh, of these changes and I'm on Twitter at Ice Dixon. Thanks for watching.